Hello, we're back. In episode 36, I said we'd be talking about the Invader port to the TIC-80 Fantasy Console programmed in Lua using the TIC-80's own IDE. Here's the home page for TIC-80. There's a free version available and a paid version with a few more features. It's available for Windows, Linux, Mac OS X, Android, and Raspberry Pi. I'll show you something cool with the Android version later. Like Pico 8, TIC80 has a code editor. I prefer using this smaller font as I can see more on the screen this way. It also has a sprite editor, a map editor, a sound editor, and a music editor. You can see my sprites here. I used the full arcade sprites for this version as the TIC80 has a wider screen than the Pico 8. And here are my sound effects. We'll take a look at the Lua code here really quick in the editor. And now we'll go ahead and run the game and see how it looks. Yep, died right away. Now the other cool thing is that you can run this in full screen mode and turn on the CRT monitor emulation. I gotta say, this looks really cool. They even have a little pin cushion effect on the screen as well. I hope this holds up in the video. Anyhow, there it is, Invader on the TIC-80 Fantasy Console. I have this uh, a Surface Duo, and if I run TIC-80 on here, and then I spread it across the two screens, if I turn it sideways, I end up with a little TIC-80 laptop. How cool is that? So... Now that's development on the go right there. Of course, I could use a Bluetooth controller and even a mouse and keyboard with this if I wanted to. Since I'm always asking for comments and for people to subscribe and never hearing anything, I came up with an idea to see if anyone is watching. If you subscribe, you will go into a drawing for one of five of these devices, a BrainPad Pulse, an Adafruit Pi Badge, the Circuit Mess Nibble, a Game Bueno Classic, and finally, Tiny Circuits Pocket Arcade. You will have until September 2nd, 2023 to subscribe and leave a comment. Then I will randomly draw five names from the list and give the devices out in the order that you see them here, left to right, top to bottom. You would only need to pay for shipping. If this is a success, I will probably repeat it with some more devices in the future. So, next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to the Commodore Amiga in Amiga Basic and Amos Professional Basic. That about wraps up episode 37 of my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.